You know what? That's it. It's time to take KSB to the next level. Right, welcome to KSB HQ. I am so, 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 so pumped for this because I finally have a space. I have a space to create. I have a space to work. I have a space that's mine. It's a space for the home of KSB and I'm so excited. It's just a simple space. It's nothing fancy, but I'm excited because it's ours, you know? I have my WrestleMania corner, which is my favorite part. I have this desk I'm so excited for because I can have systems and organization and structure and other things I love. I'm gonna put something up on the wall here, but I don't know yet. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Um, I have my bookcase with all my equipment, my camera equipment, and then ornaments from traveling. My Turkish rug over there for the dogs to sleep on, so I don't have to like wrestle dogs when I'm trying to write a blog post anymore. So I'm very excited for that. But overall, I'm just excited. It's, it's, a, it's a place, you know, a place to take KSB to the next level. How could I possibly keep creating while I'm slumped up on the couch, like with dogs all over me? That's not a good environment for me to create better content, better blog posts, better videos. I needed to level up at this point. But if you've been following my blog for a while, you already know this, but my blog started in a Starbucks. Every night at Starbucks with a hibiscus tea, um, and that's where I made my website, that's where I did everything. So I didn't even have Wi-Fi in my house. That's how minimalist my house was. It went from it went from Starbucks to doing it actually in office hours at the job I hated because nobody cared what I was doing every day. So I was like, might as well do something I love. So it went from Starbucks to the office to the bed of a studio apartment because I didn't even have a desk. I just had this small furnished apartment. So I worked in my bed gone to the couch in this apartment and now we finally have a space like three and a half years later sorry my dog's jumping off hmm <laughs> Coco Chanel can come up but yeah like I said I want to let you know like if you are trying to start anything or make a change just remember that this is all fancy and nice but it's extra you know this is three and a half years in the making the work's got to come first you've got to fall in love with the grind you've got to be grinding it out every day no matter what your surroundings the work ethic is most important and then from there, you can keep building whatever you're trying to build or change or grow, whatever it is, build one step at a time, but focus on the work first and then you can do stuff like this later. But I'm just so excited. If you can't tell, I'm so excited. I know this is like a silly video, but I wanted to bring you guys on the journey with me because you know, you guys read my blog post. You've been there since day one, the ups and downs, the Hawaii, the Italy, everything. I'm excited for what's next. I hope you guys will love it. But for now, that's a wrap from us. 